Maine Coon Cat vs. Ragdoll Cat What are the differences between these two cat breeds? These cat breeds are one of the popular cat breeds in the world, not just because of their appearances, but also because of their loving personalities. These are two large-sized cat breeds. Most Maine Coons weigh 9 to 18 pounds, males are larger, and some tip the scales at 20 or more pounds. They don't reach their full size until they are 3 to 5 years old. Female ragdolls usually weigh 10 to 15 pounds, and some males weigh more than 20 pounds. The Maine Coon is a native New Englander, hailing from Maine, where they were popular mousers, farm cats, and most likely ship's cats, at least as far back as the early 19th century. The first thing you'll probably notice is that Maine Coons are really big. In fact, the record for the world's longest house cat belongs to a Maine Coon who grew to be over 4 feet long. But these kitties have more going for them than size. They're affectionate without being needy, they're adaptable, and they've kept their hunting instincts, just in case you need a good mouser. If you can handle a whole lot of cats, this kitty might be a perfect addition to your family. The good-natured and affable Maine Coon adapts well to many lifestyles and personalities. They like being with people and have the habit of following them around, but they aren't needy. They're happy to receive attention when you direct it their way, but if you're busy, they're satisfied to just supervise your doings. Close a door on them and they will wait patiently for you to realize the error of your ways and let them in. They're not typically a lap cat, but they do like to be near you. They also retain their skill as a mouser. No rodents will be safe in a home where a Maine Coon resides. Even if you don't have any mice for them to chase, they'll keep their skills sharp by chasing toys and grabbing them with their big paws. A Maine Coon also enjoys playing fetch and will retrieve small balls, toys, or watered up pieces of paper. They can climb as well as any cat but usually prefer to stay on the ground level. That's where their work is, after all. They're also very smart and will happily learn tricks or play with puzzle toys that challenge their brain. With positive reinforcement, ragdoll cats learn quickly and can pick up tricks as well as good behaviors such as using a scratching post. The ragdoll cat is an all-around best buddy to just about everyone. They love their human families, even children, and will get along with other pets fairly well. Docile, sweet, and happy to relax for a good cuddle session. If you're looking for a companion, you can't find a much better choice than one of these easygoing felines. Unlike many cats, ragdolls are notable for collapsing into the arms of anyone who holds them, even if they are cradled on their back. They love their people, greeting them at the door, following them around the house, and leaping into a lap or snuggling in bed whenever given the chance. They often learn to come when called or to retrieve toys that are thrown for them. The word most often used to describe them is docile, but that doesn't mean they are inactive. They like to play with toys and enter into any family activities. With positive reinforcement in the form of praise and food rewards when they do something you like, ragdolls learn quickly and can pick up tricks as well as good behaviors such as using a scratching post. In a small, sweet voice, they remind you of mealtime or ask for petting but are not excessively vocal. Ragdolls have nice manners and are easy to live with. You will find a ragdoll on your sofa or bed, but generally not much higher than that. He prefers to stay on the same level with his people rather than the highest point in a room. Cats are obligate carnivores, meaning they eat almost exclusively meat. Their diet should consist of no more than 5% carbohydrates and most of their protein should come from an animal source. Another important consideration is your cat's water intake. Cats in the wild get most of their hydration from their diet, not by actually drinking water as most people think. Canned cat food is about 70-80% to water, while dry food is only about 10% water. Although you can make up some of the water loss by providing a bowl or fountain of water, it's still not usually enough to cover the difference. If your cat is healthy and doesn't have special dietary requirements, then mainly wet food with dry food being supplementary and raw food being optional will likely be fine. Unless your cat has an exceptional ability to self-regulate its eating, it's not a good idea to leave out unlimited food all day, especially dry food. It's okay to leave dry or wet food out all day if you use measured portions that make sense for your cat's weight and activity level. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. Despite the length of the Maine Coon's coat, it has a silky texture that doesn't mat easily if you groom it regularly. It is easily cared for with twice-weekly combing to remove dead hair and distribute skin oils. Useful grooming tools include a stainless steel comb for removing tangles and what's called a grooming rake to pull out the dead undercoat which is what causes tangles when it's not removed. Use it gently, especially in the stomach area and on the tail. Maine Coons are patient, but they don't like having their hair pulled any more than you do. 
A ragdoll's moderately long fur has a little undercoat, which means it is less likely to mat and shed, but that doesn't mean the cats need no grooming. Comb it twice a week with a stainless steel comb to remove dead hair that can cause tangles. Be sure to comb the fur on the legs thoroughly, especially where the leg meets the body, where mats are most likely to occur. A rubber curry brush will smooth the fur after you comb it and remove any remaining loose hairs. If you are gentle and don't pull their hair, ragdolls will love the attention they receive from you during grooming time. Note that seasonal changes, as well as hormonal fluctuations in unaltered cats, can affect the length of the coat. The coat will be at its peak in winter. Ragdolls that have been spayed or neutered will usually have a lush coat year-round because they lack the hormonal fluctuations that occur in unaltered cats. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Trim the nails every couple of weeks. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. It's a good idea to keep them as an indoor-only cat to protect them from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Maine Coons and Ragdolls who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for it. The friendly Maine Coon is a perfect choice for families with children and cat-friendly dogs. They love the attention they receive from children who treat them politely and with respect, and they don't mind playing dress-up or going for a ride in a baby buggy. The laid-back Ragdoll is perfectly suited to family life. He rarely extends his claws when playing, and he usually doesn't mind playing dress-up, riding in a baby buggy, or being a guest at a tea party. Because of their large size, males are an especially good choice for families with children. You should always supervise young children to make sure they don't torment the cat. And with a cat this size, it's essential to teach children how to support the cat, with one arm beneath the front legs and one beneath the hind legs. Never hold a ragdoll with the hind end hanging down. They are happy to live with other cats and cat-friendly dogs, too, thanks to their amiable disposition. Introduce pets slowly and in controlled circumstances to ensure that they learn to get along together. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.